Hi, my name is Lisa Hosfeld and I'm a physical therapist with Orthopedic One. And I'm Whitney Mayo and I'm a physical therapist with Orthopedic One as well. This week we're going to demonstrate exercises to strengthen your gluteal muscles. The glute muscles are an important muscle group. They help to stabilize your pelvis. They help to extend your hip, which should ultimately improve your running efficiency, speed, and power. So we wanted to demonstrate some gluteal strengthening exercises because this is an area that can sometimes be overlooked. Running is a very quad dominant exercise, meaning that you really develop and train your thigh muscles when you're running, but sometimes your glutes get neglected. And over time, they can tend to develop some weakness and you end up with some muscle imbalances. So we've chosen some exercises that we thought would be a good starting point for most people. They're easy to do and they're easy to incorporate into your routine. But if you find you're having trouble, if you're experiencing pain, or if you want some advice, contact one of our athletic trainers using our Healthy Roster app or through the Sports Medicine Hotline. If you need a physical therapy evaluation, we'll be able to evaluate you and tailor a plan that's specific to you. So the next exercise we're gonna demonstrate is called the bridge. So what you're gonna do is lie on your back and bend your knees, and for the exercise, you're gonna push through the heels, squeeze your glute muscles, and then lift your hips up towards the ceiling. You wanna try to go as high as you can, so you have a nice straight line, and then go ahead and lower down with control. You can squeeze those glutes when you get up to the top, so if you find that the bridge exercise is getting easy, go ahead and try a single leg bridge. So what you're going to do is take one leg and go ahead and extend your knee, and you're going to go ahead and do the bridge with just the one leg. It's down. So go ahead and push and lift your hips up as high as you can, and then back down. For this exercise, you want to make sure you're keeping your pelvis level, so you don't want to tip or dip either way. You want to try to get up as high as you can and really squeeze that glute. And you really want to work on kind of keeping your back flat, just like a tabletop. You want to make sure you don't arch your back too much. And you really want to make sure you don't twist or turn in your pelvis. Good. So this exercise is called the fire hydrant. What you want to do is get on your hands and knees. And you're going to take one knee and lift it out to the side. And then bring it back in. You want to try to have most of the motion come from the hip. You don't want to twist at the pelvis. You want to keep a nice flat back. This next exercise we're going to demonstrate is a squat with a resisted band. If you have a band, you're going to put it around your thighs above your knees. If you don't have a band, it's okay to do the exercise without it. So once you have the band around your thighs, you're going to go ahead and do a squat. So go ahead and go. And what you want to make sure you're doing is taking your bottom and sitting back. You want to try to get the weight in your heels and you want to make sure that your knees are not coming together. So keep a little resistance in this band. Pull those knees apart a little bit and that should help to keep your knees lined right over your toes. Okay. 